Okay, Mommy. so for our fe family fellowship, we will answer who God is to us, okay, through symbolism. Okay, we'll start with Johan. Okay, who is God to you? Let me see well, what you drew. Right here. Okay. Okay. There you go. So, God to me is this pencil. So... God is the creator of this. Pencil. <laughs> everything. The so, creator of everything. if you look here, okay, we have the op opposite, ad adjacent, and hypotenuse. Okay. So, if you look here, this, keep it still. This is basically re representing us on Earth. This okay. equation is what we solve, but okay. in our way, we have to choose to be good or bad. So, the symbol of God is the cross. Okay, um, God is the cross because He, uh, you know, He He was nailed on the cross because of our sins. Mm -hmm. And on the third day, and always the cross has a salvation. It's a symbol of salvation. So every time you think that uh, you 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 know everything that you have a problem, you have a problem in your life. That is your cross. And in the end, you will rise. It will all pass. Because as Jesus was nailed on the cross, on the third day, He rose. Mm -hmm. See? Ah. See? He rose again. So Jesus, or God, or uh, is uh, uh, to me a symbol of the cross. Uh, I, will, uh, I will suffer, but I always look at Him as a Savior. Okay, next is Joe Jonathan. Hi, my name is Jonathan Mones. You may know me from my previous talks. Um, so this is what I drew in the time that I was sitting there. Oh, so right, what oh, is it? Uh, this is what I drew. Okay. Obviously, you don't understand the story okay. of my eight minutes sit down. Okay. And draw with God. Okay. I like to call it draw with God because this is what I was drawing with God. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so... What we're, we see here is, I was thinking to myself, I shaded, I was like thinking, in the darkness, God is very much present, right? And mm -hmm. he, he's the light in the darkness, right? Mm -hmm. and I was like, that's not enough. So I decided to make it bread. The bread of Jesus Christ, and we're eating the Eucharist oh, yeah. constantly. Oh, oh the mana. The mana. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, the bread oh, of life. Flour. Yeah. Then I decided to draw a mouth. I drew a mouth because food. Okay. Food, eat. Eat manna. Okay. Manna, God, thank you. Oh, okay. okay, very good. Okay, what is your favorite Bible verse for oh, this not, week? Not if Johan you, to, what, okay, not? where? If, if you see, um, Ephesians. Ephesians mm. 5, verse 25. Husbands love wives as Jesus sacrificed himself for the okay. church. Okay, so, so how do you explain? Uh, <laughs> okay, please, what's your reflection on so, that? My reflection is that all of us uh, are represented as the wise. Okay. <laughs> you please, please listen. Okay, go. So, we are represented as wise, but that, that doesn't mean that men are gay. Okay. But, uh, but, well, I mean, so that means that wives represent as church. Okay. Husbands represent as Jesus. Okay, wow, that's a very deep explanation. Okay, so if you would see this, right, so we're married to the church, yeah, yeah, wait, 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 okay, come on, explain, go. So basically, if you would see this this way, that just basically means Goddess loves infinitely us, us, all of us, all of us. Ephesians 5. Ephesians 5, verse 25. No, it's okay. 1, 2, oh. verse 25. Okay. Hello, uh, I will be reading my Bible verse today. You remind, remind me a while ago from my draw with God. Yeah. Uh, so today I'll be reading Jonathan 8, 12. No, I'm kidding. I'll be reading John 8, 12. Again, Jesus spoke to them saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. See? I procrastinated a little, um, but this comes from with my drawing. Um, you follow Jesus into the light, and you won't be into darkness. Thank you. That's my talk. Okay, my 
favorite Bible verse is from uh, Ephesians 2 verse 10, which says that God created us to do amazing things. So I believe that we were born in this world with a purpose, okay? So that is why don't ever think na Ephesians, ano? Ephesians 2 verse 10. Don't ever think na when you are down or you have problems or you are undergoing a trial, don't say, oh, God doesn't love us, or oh, pinabayaan ako ni Jesus Christ, or ni Lord, oh, I'm nothing, or that uh, I have no uh, sense in this world, I have no purpose in this world. No. Always remember that God created us to do amazing things. Okay? So I want to address this to Jonathan. Yeah. I'm aware. Yeah. And so. Set purpose. Or... Yeah. So, each of us have purpose in life. Okay. So when you are undergoing uh, that, that is very natural. You have to undergo that. So I'm glad that you undergo that one. So you will know that we all go through that uh, trials in life. Okay. But always remember. Don't forget that God, Jesus Christ, is always there to help us and to guide you. If you fail, then go back again and then try again and do your best. So that's life, you know? John verse 13 to 16. James 1 verse. 1. James 1 verse, verse 13, 13 to, to 16. 16. Uh, do you know that? No. Okay, what, what is, is that? What is James 1 verse 13? To 16 this is what we always say like um, when we are tempted but when someone is being tempted he should not say God is tempting me yeah evil cannot tempt God and God himself does not tempt anyone it is the evil that a person wants that tempts him his own evil desires leads him away and holds him this desire causes sin then the sin grows and brings death my dear brothers do not be fooled about this so every time we um, every time we we, we we fall into sin oh, oh god is testing me remember he is not testing you he is not he is not tempting you it is the evil that's tempting you right? 